Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and today we're going to be trying to build a flying, time-traveling DeLorean from Back to the Future. And I got a lot of plans on how to use some of the new blocks for that. But last episode, we built this dragon here, and I asked you guys to give him a name. And uh, a lot of you actually said we should name him Lockjaw. And one of the reasons why I think a lot of you commented that is because we had trouble opening his jaw at one point in the video for whatever reason. And I said it seems like he has Lockjaw. So like you're like, why not just name him Lockjaw? Um, his issue seems to be fixed now. He's uh, doing much better, apparently. Uh, oh, now he's uh, no jaw. But thanks to all of your comments on submitting names. Those of you that submitted the Lockjaw name, congratulations. You have been heard and your submission has been accepted. Oh, this looks terrible. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know. I don't know why this amuses me so much. Okay, he's lost like all of his teeth almost. Well, most of them, not all of them. All right, let's, uh, let's work on the DeLorean now. Okay, for those of you who don't know what the DeLorean is from Back to the Future, pause right now and just Google Back to the Future car or whatever. Uh, so, what I think we could do, we could probably do a couple of special things here because we have a new speed sensor. And when the DeLorean reaches 88 miles an hour, it basically time travels. Now, we're, we can't do time travel in Trailmakers necessarily, but uh, I figured we could just have some type of special effect happen when it reaches 88 miles an hour. I'm not entirely sure what that might be yet. It's going to be difficult to try to fit mechanisms inside the DeLorean. Um, also, making it fly is going to be very difficult. I'm hoping I can make it look good. And then once it looks good, I'm hoping I can add everything I need into it without messing it up. Especially like aerodynamics for flying because the DeLorean itself doesn't have wings. But we'll find out what happens, I guess. And I think I'm actually going to start at the back because the back of the DeLorean is one of the more complex parts. And that's going to help me scale it out and figure out how big this thing needs to be with what kind of parts I'm going to put on here. So, of course, it's not going to look exactly like the thing. I'm just going to use whatever parts I can think of to, to represent the DeLorean. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll see you when I get something testable.
Gentlemen, to the basic, hopefully somewhat functional initial design. This doesn't have any flying function or special functions. I'm hoping it just drives first, but uh, this was a process and I'm, I'm very concerned with how close to the ground it appears to be right now. It looks very heavy back here. So let's see if it... Okay, all my wheels are reversed. All my wheels are apparently reversed. One, one moment, please. All right, and we're back, and holy cow, that turning is a little bit extreme, isn't it? We should probably we should probably make that not 60 degree turning. <laughs> all right, so we're finding out all the design flaws uh, because I was paying so much attention to the aesthetics of this thing that I really don't know what's going on with a lot of the design. I'm hoping that I can get this thing to work. So what's eventually going to happen as we add more functionality to this thing is once it hits 88 miles an hour what i'm planning on having it do is shoot out smoke from the tires as if like it's it's doing the whole fire trail thing even though it's just going to be smoke and it might not really be that red but at least it seems to want to drive and 88 miles an hour is going to be no problem we're breaking 100 um i am a little bit concerned at how close it is to the ground i'm loving the way that the back of it looks oh i forgot to <laughs> i forgot to unhook the the crate launcher so now we just launch a bunch of crates up in the air as we uh if we press space so i'm gonna try to make it fly now and when it gets off the ground i'm gonna have a sensor make it so that the wheels kind of come in uh just like it does in the movies and then we're also gonna have the thrusters be able to be triggered and stuff like that so i feel like it's looking pretty good considering what i'm working with but um it doesn't it, it looks a little bit janky in some areas it's not the easiest thing to kind of imitate with such a limited kind of build grid Welcome back. I've got it able to fly and control itself in the air. It's not the most well-balanced thing, but it works. 
Now, there is one issue is uh, the speedometer or the speed sensor doesn't seem to work very well. At first, I had it at 141 kilometers per hour, which equals 88 miles an hour. And I found it really hard to reach that because if you see on the ground here, we're so heavy that um, we kind of just drag against the ground. And even I, I put some thrust and even the, the thrust could get me over 141, but it was very hard to maintain. So then I changed it to just 88 kilometers per hour. And for some reason, the speed sensor doesn't seem to actually pick it up. And now I have it on like 20. You can actually see the speed sensor right in the back there. When we start going, you can see the meter start to go up and you can see we're at like almost 60 and the meter isn't really like responding very well even if like well oh, oh hold on so even if we go up in the air check this out ready oh yeah there we go so i have some ground sensors to uh turn the wheels down like that so now let's start going forward and check out our speed right all right so now it's triggering now uh, and yeah all right so now it's triggering at 160 something but yeah, we're still way over it now. Like, we're going 90, we're going 80, and it's not even... Oh, there it goes. Now it's reading full. So I don't know why. The speed sensor just doesn't seem to be very consistent, unfortunately. But I had to do a lot of inside work here. A lot of work went into the inside of this thing to try to get this thing even remotely flyable. So if you look down... Let's see if we can get a view here. If you look... Yeah, the smoke doesn't really help here. Let me turn off the smoke. So you can see I have all kinds of helicopter servos to uh, help myself with yaw, pitch, and roll. And those work great. And you see I have a bunch of wing pieces down underneath there. And I even added more thrusters in the front and more in the back. And you can't really see it. Like right through there, you can... Oh, I can't... Hold on a sec. You can kind of see there's tail fins. There's actually tail fins to try to keep myself on a straight trajectory. I could just barely fit them in there underneath the back wheel hub. We pretty much have a fully functional, a fully flyable, although not very stable DeLorean now. And let's see if we can, if we land ourselves back down on the ground, you'll see the wheels come back down and catch us for the landing. But for the most part, aesthetically, I think I did an okay job. Um, I mean, it wasn't easy. I kept having to try to figure out what parts would fit where. All right, and there go our wheels, and now we're drivable again. And can we get the chicken? Can we get the chicken? Eh. Oh, that chicken is smart. He he weaved. He we up oh, there. We go. You can't beat the thrust. You can't beat the thrust. The only thing I wish is that uh, we could set it to re like when it reaches 88 kilometers, 88 miles an hour. Um, I really wanted to trigger the smoke to come out from the wheels. Whoops, that was weird. That was a little bit awkward. So let me know what you guys think of the DeLorean down in the comments below. And let me know if you have any ideas for other builds that you'd like to see me do in Trail Makers. This is actually, oh, there goes the smoke. This is actually a really fun build. It turned out about as good as I expected, to be honest. But, um... I enjoyed it nonetheless, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let's do a big crash landing for the finale here. Oh, I forgot that I actually put the glow in the front as well. All right, here we go. Anyway, I've this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Ugh. Ooh. 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 Bye.